Hello everybody. Today it's a nice sunny day, so I decided to have us go for a little bit of a ride. Don't know where yet, not too far. Better than sitting in the house, and I guess it's a little bit warmer than it has been for the last few days. But it's not actually warm. I guess it's like 20, but at least we have sun, which looks really nice. So, we just want to, or I want to anyway, Don was happy just sitting there. But I want to get out of the house and get some air. So we'll do that. So now we are stopped. That is Kleber Dam over there that we just crossed. And this is Kleber Pond, which is also the Black River. And we've been here fishing lots of times. But now it's all iced over. And I see people have been walking on it and snowmobiling on it, but I'm not that crazy. But we're just parked here. Are you coming out? <laughs> well, you're gonna just walk there. You're not gonna walk out there. I'm not walking on the ice. Why? That's you're scary. You fall through. Yes. I'm not then the. Don't walk over that way. I'm not the lightest person on the face of the planet. It don't matter. I last I heard there was like six, six to eight inches out here. Last I heard. <sighs> okay, I guess. But this doesn't look like the coolest place to walk down. I might fall on my butt. Well, if you do it, then you <laughs> fall on your butt. Yeah. There, are we on the, on the water now? Great. Want we jump up and down? No. 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 I don't think you want to either. Yeah, well, I don't normally take su such silly chances.
How far are you are you gonna go? All the way down until we get home. No. <laughs> no. There now you can see around the ice. Yeah. <sighs> now you can see where people have been setting up and making holes and stuff. Yeah, ice fishing. Yeah. But this will show you how far we came. Not that far out, but no. we'd definitely be swimming if it wasn't for the ice. Yeah, we're far enough out if we go in, we might hit the bottom, but we're going to be off the deep. Yeah. If we do go in. Over our heads? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Great. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I'm going to get off the ice now and go. Hey! <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> Not going through. And go over to the other side of the dam to show them, show everybody the other side. The other side of the dam. Oh, oh, yeah, there. where the river is. I mean, this is the river too, but <laughs> yeah. the non dammed side. Yeah. Just when you're out here, you just don't want to walk over that way because the ice will be thin where the water flows through the dam at. Yeah. Yeah, because that will be thin ice over there. Well, I'm not going to do that. Now we're back up on the road. And that is part of the dam and the normal part of the river. Don said he wanted to drive down there. That's another place where we go fishing a lot. But it's such a steep hill, he said he wasn't sure if we went down, if we'd get back up. Yeah, if it is cloud over there, I'm just afraid that if we get down in there, that it'd be such a steep incline that we might not be able to climb back out of it with the car. Yeah, the tires would just spin, right? Yeah. Yeah, not good. No, we got good tires on the car. Yeah, but still. It's just that steep incline. Yeah. Me. So now we're closer to the dam itself. And this is a really pretty view. It always is. Of the river down there. It's a good place to fish. But not year round. There is... A time when they say you're not allowed in the spring. And right now you're not allowed to either. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's only between uh, June and I think September or October. Oh yeah. And we're doing what you're allowed to fish down in there. Now we're walking onto the dam and only one vehicle can go through here at a time because it's too skinny. So if there are other people coming, one has to wait. But there's the other side, and there's the car way over there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear a rumbling sound. That would be the dam, the workings in the dam or whatever. Maybe all that water going through those two giant tubes It sounds like there's a, a car coming, but there's not. Pretty cool though. And this is the other side. Here's a ladder. I guess that's how they get down there. We're not going down there. No. It says keep out. I wouldn't want to go down there anyway. No. Icicles hanging off everything. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Yeah. Huh. You can hear the water going through down there. Yeah. A hole. Yeah, it's for uh, green. Yeah. A lot of people have gone in and out over there, you can see, but... Yeah. Of course, it's barbed wire because they don't want anybody playing around in there because somebody could get hurt or worse. So, they don't want people being foolish, which you know somebody would be. And then there's, what is that over there? 
fish uh, hatchery. Well, yeah, that's a uh, uh, fish hatchery. I think it's a sturgeon fish hatchery. Yeah. Used to never be there. Yeah, it's all locked up. There's a gate over there yeah. that says no trespass trespassing as well. So, do they still get electricity off this? Oh yeah. See that yeah. power stuff over there? Yeah, uh, this is a functioning. Uh, all right, what. but you said the tower dam is not get doing electricity, or is it? Uh, not the part that's in the water, you know, where they're getting electric from, you know, through the water forest, but it's just because it's so old and it needs a lot of maintenance. Oh. But well, now, like, for the building that's back away from the water, that part uh, does produce electricity, though. Oh. Well, there are a lot of people trying to have this dam and the tower dam removed. Yeah. Like activist people. Well, I can see the tower dam. Why you know? Because it's not. Because for the most part, it's non-functional. Yeah, but then the tower pond would be gone. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it would go back to its natural state. What it was. I know, but what about all those houses on the shore? They won't be on the shore anymore. <laughs> no. But you would think your taxes would have to go back down. Yeah. Your ta land taxes are higher when you uh, live on the water's edge. Yeah. So, I never really stood on top of this before. I just drove, we just drove over it. So I didn't realize just how big these pipes are. Big, big, big pipes. The whole river is going through those two pipes right now. Crazy. So now we are in town, in Onaway, at the Industrial Arts Complex, which is Tom Moran's welding school, wondering what this is. It looks like a big sucker. It is, it just appeared here a couple months ago. And it's obviously one of the sculptures he makes with welding and iron. But I really don't know what this is supposed to be. Any ideas? Leave them in the comments. Because to me, it looks like a big, weird, upside down sucker. Strange. And this is my favorite sculpture that Tom Moran has ever made so far. He makes something new every year, except I don't think he made anything for 2020 because of the pandemic. But this is, I think, 40 feet long and painted with shiny, glittery, iridescent paint. And I know that his students from the school helped on it, but it's definitely one of my favorites. And it's really big.
but he always unveils a new sculpture at the 4th of July parade, which was canceled in 2020 because of the pandemic. So I don't think he made anything. Maybe he thought, what was the point? So we'll have to see what happens next year. And one more before we go home, a tree also made by Moran and made out of steel. It even has leaves at the base. This is pretty cool too, it's just really rusty. So dinner tonight is the little healthy pizzas again because I really really like them and they're the same as before with the Mamma Mia mini pizza crusts and pizza sauce and chicken breast and onions, mushrooms, jalapenos, yellow peppers, black olives except no black olives on Don's. But the big difference this time is that we're trying this cheese. This. So we'll see if this is good. Walmart had the Fire Habanero in this brand, which was good. And they had this. And I grabbed them both so we can try them. So it's time to find out if this one is any good. Come say hi, kitties. <laughs> kitties. Another kitty! Another kitty! Tug! Well, I guess you just want to stay out there. Kylo, White Storm, Smokey, Gizzard, Gray Stripe, Spotted Leaf. Everybody's cute. So I guess that will close up the night. But I did want to say that that ranch cheese didn't taste like ranch. It wasn't gross, but it didn't didn't taste like ranch and I tried a little pinch of it by itself and it was really salty so I guess we won't get that one again so we're gonna go ahead and say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like subscribe comment share and you're having a good night say good night say good morning and we'll see you tomorrow